Welcome everyone, this is Mike for Come Out Roll. We're going to go ahead and continue on with our practice with the knuckleball. Uh, this time, instead of setting the 3V, we're going to set a hard 4V. Uh, see where that ends us up. I've noticed it tends to give out more 5s and 9s and less 6s and 8s. But of course, that's fine because the 5 and 9 pays better. Right now the puck is off. Let's establish a come out point. All right, that's going to be a 12. I don't know if you can see it for the distance of the camera, but that is a 12. That's bad news for anybody that's on that pass line. Let's go ahead and throw that down again. Uh, I didn't mention it, but I've seen more 12s than normal. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of having it chalked up to, to a fluke. You know, I don't think we're, we're beating out the odds in any way, shape, or form. But here we go. Let's see if we can establish a point this time. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but I just rolled back-to-back -back box cars. Back-to-back -back box cars. Wouldn't you love to have been on that uh, five bucks on that uh, crap 12? All right, so there's 10 bucks down real quick. We're going to put another five right on the pass line. Um, this is going to be interesting if we happen to roll another 12. At that point, I'm going to start scratching my head and wonder if it's more than just probability. All right, here we go. Got the 4V. 4V for victory. All right, there we go. Point's going to be a five. Point's going to be a five. Uh, we've got the five covered down there, so I'm going to go ahead and cover the other number I've seen come up the most, which is a nine. And let's see. Right now, we've got ten bucks on the table, and we're down ten bucks from the previous two crap twelves. So let's see if we can claw our way back to, to even here. Nope. 4V for victory. Off we go. And that's going to be a hard six. Hard six. I'm telling you, I see these hard ways come up so much. So much with these with these knuckle throws. It's, it's very strange. All right. Again with the 4V. And that's going to be a five. That's going to be a winner on the point five. We're just going to pick up a quick five bucks there. And puck will go off. So at this point, I don't see a reason to have my bets working because there's nothing covering them. So, of course, our bets are going to be off like at a standard crap game, probably how most of us play it, at least us roller, low rollers anyway. All right. Back to our 4B for victory. Let's see where we end up. What will the point be? Three, crap, three, three, crap, three. Boy, I tell you what, I'm good at that crap. Just crapping out there on the come out roll. Go ahead and throw another nickel down on the pass line. All right, back to our 4V for victory. And that's going to be a five. It's hard to see, but that dice is a one. So it's four, one, five. Four, one, five. You know, I tell you, those fives, fives and nines, and crap checks. Five nines and crap checks. Let's keep an eye on that and see how it progresses throughout this roll. Here we go. I don't have a set number of rolls. We're going to roll for about 20 minutes. Or we run out of money, whichever comes first. That's going to be a 6 4 10. 6 4 10. No effect on us whatsoever. If you're anything like me, you, uh, you're real conservative in the beginning until you get a few of their bucks in your pocket, and then you'll start branching out and having a little more fun, getting a little more courageous. It's easy to spend their money, hard to spend yours. That's going to be a 6. Again, no harm, no foul. Drop a dot, win a lot. There's my two. There is my two. Do do do. All right, here we go. Four V for victory. That's going to be a six, four, two, six, four, two, six. 
ice is stuck on the rubber. There's the four, and there's the two, four, two, six, four, two, six. Again, has no bearing on us whatsoever in this particular instance. Nine, six, three, nine. There's a nine. Neener, neener, nine. Seven dollars. And we're still down a little bit, so we're just going to go ahead and re rack those profits. I like to get up by at least ten bucks, then I'm willing to wager five of their dollars. There we go. Four V for victory. Ooh, that dice is out of control. That was a terrible throw. That is a four three seven. Four three seven. You know as well as I do, you can you you can feel it as soon as it leaves, leaves your hand if it's gonna be a, a terrible roll, and that most certainly felt like a terrible roll. All right, here we go. Five dollars on the pass line. We got our four B. And point is five. Again, back on that five. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and put a nickel on the nine. And let's see if we can bring that five right back. Let's go ahead and throw odds on that five. Six, hard six, six, hard six. No bearing on us whatsoever. Bring those odds out where they belong. Let's get our V going. There we go. All right. Six four ten, six four ten. You do see a lot of tens on this particular roll too. Maybe we should think about putting more of those out on the next uh, on the next shot. All right. We go four V for victory. In case you're curious, I'm rolling all these at the just barely at the top of the fingertips. All right, so that's going to be a four two six, a four two six. Let me go ahead and block off a little bit of that noise. I'm not the only person on the planet. So there is another six. I haven't been seeing a lot of sixes, but this is the first time I'm trying the two V or the four V for victory. So maybe this uh, harbors more sixes. The way they land. In case you're unfamiliar with this or you haven't seen my channel before, the idea of this throw is to keep these dice separated in midair as well as on the table. I don't want them to touch. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. If you like this, please um, subscribe to our channel. Please like and click the notifications bell. I want to make videos. Uh, a lot goes into these in post-production, getting the numbers, just to get the number of the roll to come up on the screen. You would not believe what it takes. Five, six, seven. Seven out, seven out. Anyway, the idea is to try to get a thousand subscribers minimum, get our four thousand community hours watched, so we can go live. Once we can go live, well, we'll probably do it before then. I want to do tournaments for our subscriber base. Uh, basically, probably twenty people in a tournament, and we'll play two people at a time. I'll be the dealer; they'll go head to head, and then whoever has the best score, of course, will move up the tournament bracket. What's the channel? Four two six four two six. Got to take the puck off, but that's a new point. Once the channel can support itself, uh, I want there to be prizes. And, you know, uh, this I can guarantee you, if this channel takes off and we're making good money, uh, the prizes will be very good. I like to see this get to the point where we could, uh, you know, we could have a maybe 40 person tournament for an Xbox Series X. I mean, extravagant, you know. This is not my sole source of income, nor do I want it to be. Uh, I've got uh, too much on that. Eight. I've got a cap of two, so it's, it'll be corrected after this roll. 
All right, five, six, seven. I do at least get a dollar's change because I overcapped it. Well, we went from having a roll of a bunch of numbers to back to seeing that dreaded seven out almost instantly. Put another nickel down on the pass line. Our uh, 4V for victory. I'm not going to say it's letting us down. Just my inconsistency in the way I release the dice may be letting us down. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be a, a five. I really do. Nope, it's a nine. Point is nine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put, we're going to get six, eight, five. Of course, we need our caps. All right, at this point, we could definitely use an extended roll. Uh, our bank is suffering. And not suffering succotash, it's suffering <laughs> very badly. All right, make sure that 4V is facing us. All right, here we go. That's going to be a 5, 4, 1, 5. That 5 is going to pay 7. We could desperately use that. Uh, we use uh, we could use about 15 hits at this point. That's about how meager it is, if you can see. A couple of chips fell out when I picked up the rack, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Here are the birds. Oh, they're having a great day out there. It's about 70 degrees. All right, here we go. 4V for victory. 6410, 6410. Again, see a lot of 10s. A lot, a lot of 10s. Maybe I should play the, place the 10. Because I do see a lot of 10s. I mean, that's just a fact. Here we go. Oh, that's a terrible throw. I see a 2 and a 1. That's a 3. 2, 1, 3. Got lucky on that one. You know, the idea is for the landing zone to be around this area and for it to stick, not bounce around all over the, all over the board, which it just did. On my last throw, I'm going to swell. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right, that is a hard four. Two, two, hard four. Two, two, hard four. Videos only about 13 minutes long, so we got a little bit of time yet. Um, might be getting a little rash, a little fast having these three places out, but you know, at some point you got to take a chance. That's why they call it gambling. Eight, okay, five, three, eight. That's going to pay a seven. Seven. See that? Yes, you can. But if there's anything we can do with this knuckleball that's going to put even the slightest odd in our favor, I mean, even a even a tenth of percentage point goes a long way when you're playing the pass line. Speaking of the pass line, I hope I haven't thrown a nine and just ignored it. Ah, speaking into existence, there's a nine. I'm going to pick up a quick nick here. Of course, now the putt comes off. You're wondering, that's uh, you might be able to hear that. I'm not sure, but a cat wants attention. Uh, they love to jump up here while I'm playing. They're actually being very well behaved today. I mean, to have the ability to make this video for everyone. All right, my bets are off. Get that nine. Eight, hard eight. Bet is, or the hit is hard eight, hard eight. So I think we're going to go ahead and put the puck on. We're going to pick up that neck, or we're going to pick up a buck, and we're going to put that, instead of on the 9, we're going to go on that 10. And we can get that $9 hit, maybe. Now would be a good time to get a couple of $9 hits. Sitting at uh, work, you're sitting at home, you're bored. Uh, do us a favor. Go to comeoutroll.com. I built the website myself. It's a five, three, eight. That's point made. Now wait, that's my money. Let's get it from their bank. There we go. 
Anyway, go to comeoutworld.com. Please spend a few minutes, sign up for the newsletter, and uh, put the site through the stress test. It's brand new. I built it myself, so I'm not really sure. I, at this point, don't even have social media set up on it other than YouTube. So it's another thing I, I have to get done, which I don't, you know, I don't use social media, but I figure if we're having fun at this, why not? All right, that's going to be a hard four. Two, two, hard four. Can you see that on the camera? I doubt it. We're just going to, you can see I'm sliding them directly up. There we go. Now you can see it's a hard four. So that's a hard point to hit. That's probably why it pays so well. All right, here we go. I'd like to see a 10. How about a 10? That's a four. We hit the point, and that is a beautiful landing. That is what you want to see every roll. If you can do that, I have no doubt that you'll be able to make some money with this with this knuckle shot. None at all. I've only done that about three times in the time I've been practicing this. I've been on this roll for about three days now. Made it up the other day. At least, I think I made it up. Somebody may have already done this that I don't know about. I'd love to hear some feedback from, that's a 538, 538, that's no point. I'd love to hear some feedback from uh, Jacob at Wager Me This on this, what he thinks about this knuckleball. Um, I don't think Color Up much cares. I don't think he's too much into the dice control. Makes great videos, so does Jacob. But this is something more, it's, it's more up Jacob's alley to uh, give me some feedback on it. If you guys do make videos using this, that's gonna be an 11. 6511. If you guys do make videos, please give me a shout back. Um, I'm a brand new channel and I have, I think, five subscribers. So anybody that's been here and done this knows this is an uphill, you know, this is an uphill battle for sure. Sort of like trying to win at craps with $100. That's going to be a 314, a 314. All right, that's going to be a 628. 628. Point is made. Pick up another quick nickel. Thank you. All right. 628. Puck comes off. All right, here we go. 4V for victory. Six, seven, eight. Point's going to be eight. Point is eight. We're coming down to the end of about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and throw six bucks odds on that. Is that the correct odds? i be honest, I don't know. I love this game, but I'm terrible at math. And my the only thing that's worse than my math is my memory. So there we go. We've got several dollars out on the play field right now. So let's see what comes of it. Four. There's an easy four. Yeah, uh, we got 26, seven bucks out there. As you know, for a low roller, that is otherwise known as 25% of your bankroll. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. 4B for victory. Oh, that went all the way to the other end of the table. I'm going to slide this die up. It's an 8. I'm going to slide this die up. Or excuse me, it was a 3, 5, 8. We've made our point. Excellent. So we're actually going to uh, rake in on some odds. I believe the odds, I'm not sure. So I'm going to do, there we go. Let's see what we're at here on time, guys. Let me break this all in. All right, we're sitting at 1943. I guess we're going to go ahead and finish out this roll. Points on eight. Or excuse me, we just made our eight, so the puck is off. And we're going to come to a decision. Then we'll count up our bank roll and see how we've done with 4V for victory. 
All right, let's see if we can set a point. Da -da -da -da. It's a four. The point is four. Very good. Okay. If you do want to play with this, just a quick note. I do have the V formation facing away from me. Trust me, from what I've seen, it makes a difference which way it's facing for some reason. There's an eight. Uh, we're not on the eight, so we should be. I'm gonna go ahead and throw us up on the eight. Tell you what, since this is the last roll and we're gonna just see what happens, let's go ahead and grab up that nine for a nickel too. And uh, now normally you wouldn't do this at the casino. You know, if you're being conservative, you're not going to throw and place everything out there on your final roll. All right, here we go. Four V for victory. Five. We hit that five. That's going to be seven bucks. Good. Sure that V is facing away from us, and here we go again. Ooh, almost off the table. Aha, <laughs> terrible roll. That, that was an errant roll, and look at what we end up with. Seven. Seven out. Okay, so that was uh that was quite a big hit to our bankroll there at the end, just really messing around. So let's see where we're at, shall we? Bring our bank back up where we can see. 25, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 25, 50. This is going to be 60. Oh, excuse me. 50, 55, 60. Sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. 80, uh, looks like 79 bucks. And on that last hit, if we would have pulled down, we would have actually been over our initial bankroll of $100. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, give it a try yourself. Let me know what you think. Uh, make any comments you'd like, good, bad, or indifferent. We're always looking to learn. If you have a few moments, please do like and subscribe. And remember, just because you play a lot doesn't mean you have to lose a lot.